healthcare professionals at Duke are playing a lot of video games. They're among the first in the country to use a virtual game to train for real patients. It's the same type of technology the Army uses to train soldiers. Health and fitness reporter Amber Rupetta has more. Let's get those monitors on. Monitors are on? Okay. Let's uh, begin the primary assessment. Like the patient's getting kind of I have an expired unit. I also have an expired unit. I'll get rid of it. Playing video games is the last thing you would think a room full of Duke anesthesia patients and nurses would have time for, but it's actually the latest way they're training to handle real-life patients. I'll go get some blood. Well, it's fun. It's fun to learn like this. It's fun to, you know, interact in a, you know, new cutting-edge material and learn that way. But it's also, it's also just like being in a real simulator. That you can see what you're doing. You can hear. You can hear the vital signs change just like we would in a regular operating room. There's a, there's a gap between what you can learn in a book versus what you have to do on your feet. All right, the CT scanner is ready. Have we stabilized the patient? Thinking on your feet is what the game allows Duke anesthesiologist Dr. Jeffrey Takeman to teach. He is the director of the Human Simulation and Patient Safety Center, developing the prototype virtual game with a carry-based gaming company. I, as the instructor, have the ability to raise or lower blood pressure. I can raise or lower oxygen saturation heart rate, all the vital signs that we follow typically on a patient I have direct control over. While this virtual reality world allows users to practice situations that might happen in real life, it also allows them to practice communication, which is key in emergencies. Up to 70 percent of sentinel events, which are adverse events that happen in a hospital setting, are because of teamwork and communication. And teamwork and communication is how you win at this game. I've always found that if you make a mistake, you know, it's, especially on the computer where it's not affecting the human life, that you can you learn better from that. And you know, know not to do that again. Valuable lessons from a virtual world that can mean life or death in the real one.